This is the tutor view of the basic mass diagnostic assessment results. We've got a message at the top of the screen telling us how many students made how many attempts, which gives a general indication as to how well the assessment went on the first attempt. Then uh, underneath we get a list of the individual percentage scores, giving us a grade out of 100. And on the right, a general message indicating whether performance was good, bad or indifferent, together with a link to the Math Centre website, and also our phone number for um, further math support. And then if we go to the... Uh, well, look at the, uh, the individual scores, these are all clickable, and they will take the students to the, the detail of their uh, assessment. On the item analysis page, we'll get uh, information about uh, overall how students responded to the questions. And uh, this can give us some useful information. Um, so, for example, in the uh, second question here, there's a question on board mass. And uh, so the, the question given to the students was to calculate um, 8 plus 6 times minus 1.5. And uh, interestingly, the, uh, the last couple of years, certainly, these two answers have come up, 17 and minus 21, which are both suggestive of mal rules. That is to say, logical, logically correct, uh, but wrong answers. Um, so, for example, the uh, the minus 21, which 14 out of 81 uh, participants uh, gave us their answer, would indicate that they believe they should add the 8 and the 6 together to give 14 and multiply that by minus 1.5. And the answer is 17, the second most popular choice, uh, would indicate that the, um, the minus sign has been ignored. And so we've got 8 plus 6 times positive 1.5 to give 17. So these are interesting things to note, and they could indicate um, you know, basic misconceptions. And identification of those is the, the first point in, obviously, resolving them. We also have um, some question statistics listed, so discrimination coefficient discrimination index and facility and these can be used to um, identify questions that are ambiguous or um, that are too easy or too difficult and uh, that in the past has been used to or those type of statistics question statistics have been used to um, rationalize the assessment so that uh, it now takes uh, an hour for most students to complete, whereas it used to be um, between an hour and a half and two hours for most students.